A Google Now update brings additional features to iOS users. Larger iPad rumors hint to a more of a MacBook Air or probably iPad Pro in the future. And yes, the LG G Flex isn't just curved, it can also bend. I'm Jaime Rivera, and now that I can bend my phone, can I also fold it whenever I need to? This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official and cool news as Google has just pushed a new update to their Google search application for iOS where you pretty much get all the Google Now search features that you get on Android or at least most of them. Like for example, you can now say OK Google and the application will respond if you haven't launched since this is iOS. But obviously you get the feature, you get reminders, you get other things that currently Android customers are enjoying. And obviously it's great to see this now in iOS just as much as I know that people running Ice Cream Sandwich enjoy it as well. Right? And do all of you remember this group of HTC executives that left the company to start up their new smartphone company called Kazam? Well, the fruit of this company has just begun their launching seven phones. No, I'm not kidding. Seven phones at the same time, from high-end smartphones to the lowest end of smartphones running Android. And these phones have some weird, odd names. Link to the description for details. Uh, sadly, the highest end of their phones is sadly still what we would call a mid-tiered phone, but it's great to see them starting. It's great to see their products, and let's hope they price them right. Stay tuned for that. And if you still want to get a customizable Moto X, but not on AT&T, it seems that the exclusivity deal is about to end as we've got new rumors that Moto Maker will now be available for T-Mobile this week and probably for Sprint next week. Obviously, these are just rumors, but it's great to see that the feature is now available to more people, even though we would just wish that you could also customize the camera while you're at it. Now let's talk about the LG G Flex as those of you that were just thinking that this phone was just the curved phone like the Galaxy Round and that's what I was thinking actually. We have some videos now that show us that the phone is not just curved, you can also bend the damn thing. You put it on a table, you can push it down, watch the video and notice absolutely everything that you can do with it. Uh, which is just again, just bending the phone down which shows that the phone must be resilient to falls and just about every sort of impact. Which is great aside from that scratch proof back that apparently it has, so stay tuned for that. I just really can't find the usage for it, but still, it's great to have. And finally, for the hot news of the day, we've got some rumors coming from Foxconn that apparently Apple has just made an order for bigger iPads. And for those of you thinking that that would never happen, you know, Apple would never bring other form factors to iPads, uh, then we got the iPad mini, and you know how the story went. So apparently, the company is working on building a 12.9 inch iPad, and it seems that this iPad is not just going to be bigger. Apparently, this is the iPad Pro that some of us have been thinking about ever since Apple launched the iPad Air recently. So that leads me to the question of the day. Uh, would you find the need for a 12.9 inch iPad? Is that something that you're looking forward to? Because in my particular case, if this is just going to be a bigger version of iOS, I would not be interested. If this would run OS 10, then sure, fine, bring it to me. But other than that, let's just see what we get. So leave us a comment down below. Would you be interested? And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on Pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow.